September 21st should go down in basketball history. An open-air preseason tournament took place in Athens, Greece. Two matches were played in the iconic Panathinaik Stadium, which is the exact same location where the first ever modern Olympic Games happened in 1896. The match between hosts Panathinaikos and Partizan Belgrade witnessed a crowd of 42,000, while the atmosphere was insane already in the warm-ups. Players loved it, the fans loved it, as images of this event took over the social media. I mean, imagine warming up in this atmosphere. You definitely wouldn't have AirPods in your ears. Should the NBA and other leagues do this more often? Playing basketball in the first Olympic stadium ever is definitely the coolest locations of them all. But in this video, let's see all the other wild places where basketball matches have taken place. And when I first saw this next spot in 2011, I thought, oh my god, this has to be the coolest experience for any basketball player. On Veterans Day, North Carolina with Harrison Barnes played the Michigan State on the deck of US Navy aircraft carrier. I'm pretty sure most of you watching know the great feeling of playing basketball outside with the sun slowly going down. Now imagine it was a 5 on 5 with people watching and on an aircraft carrier which is on water. This is why these open air events are second to none. It was held in San Diego, California and had a bit more than 8,000 people in attendance. Most of them were members of the military of course, but a huge basketball fan President Barack Obama with his family was also in the event. Temporary seating was built directly on the flight deck in addition to the court and lightning. What about bad weather you may ask? Well, they had a backup plan in case things went south. A duplicate setup was built but wasn't used. Both teams wore special camouflage pattern uniforms as the Tar Heels prevailed 67 to 55. It was such a success that NCAA decided to do it again next year. They scheduled a doubleheader in South Carolina and an additional game in Florida the same day. But after the women's game in South Carolina, the men's game was cancelled due to condensation on court and issue not present in the prior match. I don't know. That that ain't that ain't like a spot. It's like the floor. I think they're scared. The other game in Florida started and continued throughout the first half, but the same issue rose during the halftime, and the match was also canceled and all the stats later erased. And of course, after such a letdown, the NCAA waited 10 more years to repeat the same event. Gonzaga met Michigan State in 2022 and completed a 40-minute match on an aircraft carrier without much problem. Walker in some trouble, Aikens, and Gonzaga will win it. Talking about basketball games that took place on water, Luka Doncic organized a free-on-free -free basketball tournament in his native Slovenia, where he and the Jordan brand hosted an event in the middle of the lake. These shots simply look epic. How did they even come up with this idea? Now, it was a creative way to introduce his new personal shoe with them floating on water around the court. What if you airballed or a pass got badly deflected out of bounds? I guess the organizers had to have a lot of basketballs ready. The spectators were quite far on the mainland, but there were boats and divers constantly maneuvering around in case something gets missing. Luca even had trampoline dunkers performing in between, and those videos of them flying over the lake are pretty stunning. I'm just hoping Luca continues this tradition as it is an amazing experience for for every young kid who participated. Okay, we have talked the Europe, the NCAA, free on free, but what about the NBA? Did any of the matches happen outside? I found out that only four times that a match has been played in open air and one team participated in all of them. The first game was way back. In 1972, Suns played the Bucks in a baseball stadium in Puerto Rico. Then the NBA had fans waiting for 36 years. 
as the league couldn't allow itself to have a cancelled game on a national TV, wind and in general weather conditions were mentioned as main obstacles. But in 2008, the Phoenix Suns part owner came up with the idea of a preseason game in the Indian Wells Resort in California, where an important tennis tournament takes place every year. The NBA approved it and the Suns with Shaq on their roster met the Nuggets. Was it a success? What do you think? Because what NBA feared the most happened. The temperature reached as low as 17 degrees Celsius or 64 degrees Fahrenheit, way lower than in any inside stadium usually. The wind was also a huge problem and a 48-minute NBA game finished with the Nuggets winning by scoring only 77 points. Those somehow were enough because the Suns had only 72 as both teams shot way below 40% from the field, combining for only three made long-distance shots from 27. Safe to say, the players did not enjoy the experience. But the NBA saw it as a success because of high TV ratings and repeated the game the following year. Now, if you want more success and more benefits from the account you receive your salary, you should open an account online with Genome for free and enjoy multi-currency support in euros, US dollars and British pounds. Manage your finances easily with virtual and physical Visa debit cards, compatible with Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Garmin Pay. Schedule your payments, never miss a bill, and travel confidently, knowing your funds are always available in the currency you need. Plus, those additional personal multi-currency accounts are all free. Why stay stuck with your old bank? Move to Genom today and experience hassle-free salary management. Now, moving back to basketball being played in other sports stadiums, the Australian League recently also had one match in the same arena they host one of the four biggest tennis tournaments in the world, the Australian Open. Looking from those clips, one could barely notice the difference viewing from the TV. However, you could definitely see the difference in this NCAA match between Stanford and Wisconsin. Those two played in Milwaukee Brewers home baseball stadium and it looked quite weird from this angle. It makes you really think about the enormous size of a baseball court compared to the basketball one. After after all these examples, we finally reach an event in Europe that exploded social media all over the world last year. Partizan Belgrade hosted a friendly match at Tasmaidan Stadium, a kind of similar outdoor arena to the one we talked about in the beginning in Athens. The area was filled with passionate Partizan supporters who put up flares to create stunning scenes that got millions of views throughout the internet. Around 8,000 people gathered to see this match match and they were singing throughout. Despite a way lower number of people than in Athens, do you think this was the most iconic basketball game that happened outdoors? The atmosphere created by Panathinaikos fans before the game was spectacular, but because the game was played in a site which is historic for the city, the whole country of Greece and basically the whole Europe, the use of flares was prohibited, slightly limiting the wow factor of those videos. Having a European record of 42,000 people for a basketball game is nuts, but these scenes from last year in Belgrade just seem to hit on a different level. What do you guys think? Which setting was the most impressive to you? In which one you would love to play the most yourselves? Let me know as always in the comment section down below. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.